Mr. Lee's probably in the kitchen, getting ready for the party. Hey, Peter. Hey, guys. How's the game going? How's it look like it's going? I'm winning. Get this guy checked for dementia, Pete. I'm crushing him. Well, the important thing is having fun. <laughs> I have a lot of fun whooping his ass. And your dreams, crazy lady. Want a game, Pete? Hey, Peter. <laughs> What's up? Just dropping in. Hey, Martin, so sorry I'm late. You were right on time. Just keep her distracted while we get everything ready. You got it. Hey, there's my favorite aunt. Peter, what a nice surprise. Need some help? Uh, yeah, sure. Oh, there are some heavy no, boxes. No, no, no. I mean, I mean, I mean, not yet. I mean, I came to, uh, 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 I just, just, just wanted to talk. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Um, Peter, are you in trouble? Do you need money? No, no, I mean, I mean I'm a little behind on my rent, but no, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm fine. Girl problems again, huh? What? No, that's crazy. I still wish you and MJ could work things out. She's a great girl. She is, but... The two of you would make some beautiful wow. baby. Uh... Peter. What is it? Come on. You can tell me. These past few years, you helping me through college and working here, sacrificing so much and asking for nothing. I just wish there were more people like you in the world. He's right. Five years ago, you walked in here and told me you were inspired by my mission to help others. Now it's you who inspires me. Thank you, May, for everything. Here's to many more years of service. Thanks again for setting all this up. Oh, I just wish I could do more. Well, May's always told me if you help someone... You help everyone. <laughs> yeah, maybe we should send May to City Hall to have a word with the mayor. Oh, I gotta run. Um, thanks again for the party and everything. It, it really means a lot. Voicemail from Yuri. You should check it outside. Hey, Pete. Peter, right? Your aunt's been showing off baby pictures. Gloria, I'm new here. Spider-Man turned me on to this place. Oh, right. I mean, great. Uh, how do you like it? They're good people. I might stick around for a little while. Well, if there's anything I can do to help, just say the word. Voicemail from Yuri. Hey, silent alarm at the auction house holding Fisk's estate sale just tripped. Could you check it out? Quietly? I don't want to make a scene if it's nothing. Fisk estate sale? Sounds fun. Wonder what the kingpin had hidden in his closets.
207, repeat 207. Kidnapping reported. Report came in from Lennox Hill. I'll set my earpiece to focus on muffled voices. Peter, I lost track of you at the party. Yeah, I had to get to the lab. Sorry. Don't apologize. I just wanted to tell you how much what you said meant to me. I always wonder if I'm doing right by you. Well, stop wondering. After losing my parents and Uncle Ben, there are so many times I would have fallen apart if not for you. Well, that works both ways, Peter. I just wanted to make sure you knew that. May, I... I don't know what to say. Oh, I think Mr. Lee needs my help. I should go. See you soon, dear. I love you. Love you too. Where is the file? There's someone else here. They must have taken it. Those masks. Who are these guys? There's no one here but us. We will find the file. Or you will die. This is bad. They'll kill her if I alert them. We need to pick them off silently. Yuri, the silent alarm was legit. Masked gunmen and a single hostage. Looks like a heist in progress. Copy that. Sending units your way. Keep the situation from getting worse in the meantime. Can do. Gotta do this quietly. Don't want to alert the others. They always look so cozy whipped up like that. Should web him from above. Whoa, careful. You stay quiet now. Someone's coming. Literally didn't see that coming. Hey, what is that? This totally belongs to... Don't move! Buddy, if I had a nickel for every don't move... Hey, Pete. MJ? What are you doing here? Same as you. Working. At least, I was. Oh, I uh, think this is yours. Yeah, thanks. So, Robbie's got you covering a break in for the bugle? Well, Robbie doesn't technically know I'm here. And it wasn't a break in until a few minutes ago. Uh huh? Let me explain.
Excuse me. Hi, Mary Jane Watson. I'm covering the Fisk estate sale. Hello. Craig said we'd do this tomorrow. I like to get a jump on things. Well, I don't. You'll have to come back tomorrow. Right. Okay. I'm sorry. Hey, Craig? No, sorry, it just... It looks like we're gonna have to run something else on the cover. I don't know, uh, maybe the expressionist piece? You know what? I think I can make today work. Are you sure? You're here, no moment like the present. Thank you. Craig? Never mind, we're good. Let's get started. Look around and familiarize yourself with the items. I'll be waiting by the Baku statue when you're ready to begin. Can do. <sighs> Fist cut Peter open like a pork sausage with this the first time they fought. Pete got away, collapsed in my yard half dead, and I had to steal my dad's car to drive him to the ER. The first of many Nurse MJ moments. Too many. What did Fisk call this? The Ness. Let me know when you're ready to begin. Sounds good. Starting with the prize, a one-of-a-kind Kake Monbaku. Oh, beautiful. It's a Mifune? Correct. Mr. Fisk has exceptional taste. Did you know him well, before his arrest? In a professional context. I handled many of his sales. Let's move on, please. Now this exquisite piece exemplifies the traditional Tarashikomi puddled ink effect. The two Neo are so imposing. I can see why Fisk liked this piece. Definitely his style. He loved the duality. Destruction screams, but creation toils in silence. Was there ever anything irregular in any of the sales you handled for him? No. No, of, of course not. Not that I was aware of. Notice the intricate gold inlay on this ceremonial tea set. It's just... A friend in the DA's office mentioned that Fisk used art sales to launder stolen goods. I'm sure I wouldn't know anything about that. Oh, I know. I was just wondering, now that he's arrested, if you had ever noticed anything strange. You know what? I'm actually running short of time. Why don't we grab the cover photo while we can? When I told my DA friend I was doing a piece on you, he mentioned your name was familiar. Just the photo, please. Stand right there. Are you sure there's nothing you'd like to say, maybe off the record, regarding Fisk's activities? I don't think your readers would have any interest in... Damn it. Wait here, please. Wait. I recognize that statue. I gotta get a photo. That... got it. Craig, I'll call you back. My dear, I think it's time for you to go. Oh, um, could I use the restroom real quick? Fine. Follow me. Thank you. This... this is a really lovely space. It is. And this will be the last time you see it. The ladies is around the corner. Be quick. Of course. Be right back. Hello, Craig. Funny you should call. Because the reporter you sent is clearly not working the puff piece we agreed upon. No, she's here now. I've got to get into that back room. If that statue is what I think it is, this just turned it... ...to a huge story. Quiet. What do you mean he had to reschedule? If she's not your reporter, who is she, Craig? Who is in my auction house? Oh my god. 
No, I do not trust you to fix this. Pete told me about this. Fisk used it to hide evidence. Why didn't the cops take it? I know this statue opens, but how? That's the Neo behind them, but it looks different. something the statue can move most common pose is latent power mouth closed left arm down right palm facing forward hmm maybe these pieces move Excuse me, sir. You you can't be not good. Where's the statue? In in in, in there. Ba Wen Jin Zao Su Lai. I was on my way to the exit when I saw you. You're lucky to be alive. This is the guy I saved five minutes ago. Listen, whoever these masked guys are, they're after this file. But I'll never get it out of here while the place is swarming with them. Right. Okay. Um, you hide back there. I take out the bad guys. You make a break when it's clear. Sounds like a plan. Good to see you, Pete. Yeah, you too. Not exactly how I pictured us meeting again, though. Funny. It's exactly how I pictured it. Did she change her perfume? Focus, Pete, focus. She no! Yes! All right. Of course. Should clear these guys out before I push forward. Will do. How about that file? What's in it that these guys want so bad? Notes on something called Devil's Breath. Fisk was hired to build a secret research lab for it. Not clear what Devil's Breath is, but it seemed to scare Fisk. He compares it to Pandora's box. Not much shook Fisk. We need to get you and that file out of here. Hang tight. Okay, room is clear. Taking guys. 
Whoa, what is up with that glowy stuff on your hands? Are you guys ghosts? Never fought a ghost before. I mean, I fought specters, but you know, technically specters aren't ghosts. All ghosts are specters, but not all specters are ghosts. You know what I mean? an energy thing, not a ghost thing. All good. Fight a ghost stays on the old bucket list. Huh. Looks antique. I think I know someone who could help track down where this came from. A job for later. I just talked to Craig. You are not the reporter he was sending. You don't even work for Heritage Arts. Never said I did. Hi. Mary Jane Watson, Daily Bugle. You... You will not write a word of what you saw For the here. record, what do you know about the file those masked men stole? <laughs> that... I, I don't... What about the long history of stolen goods Fisk has laundered at this auction house? Your editor will be hearing from our attorney. Mix. <laughs> like the last six months never happened. <sighs> Since when did Mix become Italian? Uh, no idea, but I'm still glad to mix these fries. Totally. Best in the city. So, how's the grind at the bugle? Mm. Well. Yeah, well, I just got an all-caps text from Robbie about my so-called antics tonight. So it looks like I'll be meeting with a legal team. Again. Uh, as soon as he reads the article you're gonna write, guaranteed promotion. So, creepy mask, guys. What's your take? Just another night in the city. What's your take? I feel like there's a bigger story there. Let's not make this all about business. How's, how's it going with you? Did, did you get that promotion? No, but we're on the cusp of something really big. You know Oscorp would hire you in a heartbeat, right? One phone call to hair. Sure, but Dr. Octavius' work will help millions. I'm, I'm, I'm right where I want to be, right where I should be. Almost sounds like it's more important than your other job. I've never heard you talk like that before. A lot can change in six months. Why did you ask me here, Pete? You know, just, uh, just dinner between friends. Friends. Is that what we are? Well, maybe we could be, you know, if, if, if that's what you wanted. <laughs> There's a lot of baggage here. Yeah, sure, but is that so bad? I mean, baggage can carry good things too, like uh, like money and uh, keys, and raspberry lip balm. Do you remember why we broke up? This is a trick question, isn't it? Saved by the siren. Talk to you later. Go. Cool. Love seeing you two together again. 
You always were my favorites. Hey, it's me. What's with the units heading down third? Looks like our old friend Herman Schultz is at it again. Shocker! Didn't he just get paroled? Yeah, well, I guess it didn't take. No worries. Herman's just a big cupcake. I'll have him back in Rikers by bedtime. Just had dinner with my ex after saving her from masked criminals. And now I'm gonna go beat up a maniac who uses shockwaves to rob people. What a perfectly normal life you have, Peter Parker. Captain, I've got eyes on a Fisk construction site and their equipment's covered in dust. Would you look at that? Half the crime tower's back up already. When spider cops on the job, come hell or high water, the job gets... Nope, nope, nope. Nope. She never admitted, but the chief was warming up to spider cop. His casual disregard for by-the-book thinking was a breath of fresh air. She'd come around. Someday. I just want to make sure you haven't left any equipment you built for your friend around the lab. It's no bother to me, but if the Grand Committee stops by again... Don't worry, Doc. I make a point not to leave anything there. But I know my friend appreciates you looking out for him. There's a lot of people who don't like him very much. That buffoon Jameson and his audience of sheep? Please. The people who do great things in this world are those who don't let bullies like him stand in their way. People like us. You said a mouthful, Doc. Take care. Officers needed to assist removing trapped civilians from a car wreck. Mobilize on Dutchtown. Seriously? Give it up! You're never gonna catch me! That's what you said last time. I don't wanna hurt you! You'll just pull me down! Wow, that's considerate. What's the money for, Herman? Why do you care? Actually, I don't. Just trying to make polite conversation. I'm done talking! But this could be so much more rewarding if we connected on an emotional level. Wait, I forgot. You don't have emotions. Come on, Herman. At least talk to me so we can make it interesting. Gotcha. Now let's talk. I said I'm done talking. Noted. Honestly, Herman, why are you robbing again? You know the police are watching your every move. I mean, we all know you're kind of dumb, but I didn't think you were this dumb. You must be desperate, which means you're not just stealing for yourself. You must be working with someone, or for someone. You can tell me who it is now, or make me punch it out of you later. Your choice.
Herman? You have like zero personality, but your suit is awesome. Can we talk design details? <laughs> Maybe later. Good work, Spider Man. Did you learn anything about his motive? I tried, but he's not very talkative. Plus, I think he hates me. You have that effect on a lot of people. But you love me, right, Yuri? I tolerate you. Wow. That might be the nicest thing you've ever said to me. Looks like I got some free time. Maybe now's a good time to look into that mask. Oh, it's MJ. <clears throat> hey, MJ. You're up late. Just catching up on the news. Looks like you had quite an adventure with Shocker tonight. Yeah. He was unusually combative. Anyway, thanks again for dinner. What do I owe you? How about a favor? You still have that mask from the gallery? Yeah. I'm actually on my way to the Feast Center now to ask Martin Lee about it. Martin Lee? Why? He has a degree in art history. If anyone knows about the origins of that mask, he will. Just keep me in the loop. Like I said, I think there's a bigger story here. And I plan to be the one to break it. Uh, sure. So I can call you, like, whenever? Yeah. Whenever, whatever. So I guess we're talking again. Cool. Almost morning. Mr. Lee will be here soon. And I could use a snack. Mr. Lee's usually in his office now. Partnership with restaurants and grocery stores works great. Any surplus food comes right here. Peter! What can I do for you? I'm sorry to bother you, Mr. Lee. I have a friend, Mary Jane. She's a reporter. She's doing a story on art imports, and she found this piece. Well, she wanted an expert opinion on it, and I know you have a degree. And this might be the first time I actually get to use it. Let's see what you have. Interesting. Where did she find it? I'm really not sure. Why, what is it? A replica of an antique Chinese opera mask. I haven't seen one in years. This symbol here roughly translates to demon. Demon? Well, my father read me ghost stories with that mask and symbol in it when I was young. Scared the hell out of me. Peter, listen. That mask, it's... It could be connected to dangerous people. Mary Jane might want to find a different story. Do you think she's in trouble? I don't know. Why take the risk? Hey. The symbol inside the mask means demon. It really spooked Mr. Lee. Never seen him like that. He even said you should drop the story. Fat chance. Do you think Mr. Lee knows more than he's letting on? No, I think he just had a weird flashback or something. I know his childhood was pretty traumatic. I yeah, never used to kiss sense. food at the other shelter. Demons, huh? This one, Catchy name. I have never had. Okay, gotta get writing. See you soon. Well, that went about as well as I could have hoped. Got some time to kill before Doc needs me at the lab. Let's do a little spidey work out in the city.
Armed robbery in progress. Officers needed south of Houston. Peter, Mr. Lee spoke to me. He seemed worried. Are you into something dangerous? Oh, it's just a story Mary Jane's investigating. Don't worry, I'll make sure she's careful. Please tell me you two are back together. We're talking again. Baby steps. I hope I didn't upset Mr. Lee. He's just concerned. I was actually touched by how concerned. I knew he liked you. He admires how dedicated you are to helping others. I think you remind him of himself when he was younger. Both orphans, both so smart. Well, the admiration is mutual. You got a good boss, May. I'll tell him you said so. Love you, Peter. Hello? Peter, it's Dr. Octavius. Oh, hey, what's up? Lance Corporal Texador is here for a fitting. I totally forgot. I mean, I mean, I didn't forget, forget, I just, I, I'll be there soon. This tardiness is starting to become a pattern. Come on, Parker. You're better than this. <sighs> He's right. How did I lose track of time? How does it work? Just like a natural arm. You think of what you want it to do, and... Yes! <laughs> hey! Hey! What do you think you're doing? This site's been declared a safety hazard. Stop that right now! This is highly sensitive equipment. That's it. I'm calling the mayor's office directly. Peter Parker, how the hell are you? Speak of the devil. Mr. Osborne. Oh, please. How long have we known each other? It's Mr. Mayor. <laughs> it's Norman. Norman! Norman, what do you think you're doing? The grant agreement you signed has strict safety provisions. This isn't your first violation. Those were excused. By me. We should have confiscated this equipment long ago. But... but I've had a breakthrough. <laughs> Thank you for your great service to our country. These folks will escort you to Oscorp Robotics, where you'll receive the latest in prosthetics. No charge. This isn't about safety infractions, is it? I'm trying to help you, Otto. You're free to continue your work in a secure environment at Oscorp. You always were the smartest guy in the room. You haven't changed a bit. Neither of you. Hey, Peter. Harry will be coming back from Europe early next year. Maybe the two of you can start that business you always talked about. This is opportunity knocking. <laughs> easy, easy, easy. They, they, they didn't take everything. Maybe we could start over. Peter, there's no we. Without the grant from the city, I can no longer pay you. I need some time to think. 
If I were you, I'd look for a new job. I could do something to help Doc. I could call Harry. Ask him to talk to his dad. No. Norman never listens to Harry. He even tried to kill funding for his research stations. Hey, one of those stations is nearby. I should see how they're... Harry left me a message about these before he left for Europe. Pete, hey, I need a favor. My mom's pet project was research stations that could benefit the public. Now, I launched them, but now that I'm away, Oscorp's gonna shut them down unless they prove their value. I was hoping you could watch them. I left details in each one. Thanks, man. As long as they're here, it's like a part of my mom is, too. Well, it's not gonna pay the bills, but it sounds like it means a lot to him. I'll do what I can to help. The vulture cracked my eye lens, it almost blinded me. That was a wake up call. Had to upgrade to a stronger material. Spider Man, Shocker has escaped, and now he's robbing a bank on East 31st. What happened? I thought he was behind bars. He was. But one of the guards just walked up to his cell and released him, then gave him his suit back. I knew Shocker was working for someone. What did you get out of the guard? Wish I could ask him, but he's dead. Whoever made him release Shocker didn't want any loose ends. Looking at the security footage, the guard was in some kind of trance. And it might have been the lighting, but it looked like his eyes were glowing. Well, that's creepy. Okay, I'll see what I can get out of Shocker when I get to the bank. All units 1034, repeat, assault reported. Any officers in Nomad, please respond. Herman, long time no see. Hey, I'm no lawyer, but uh, I'm pretty sure that's a parole violation. <laughs> Oops, guess we're stuck in here for a while. Want to play 20 questions? No? How about we thumb rest? Okay, face punch it is. Whoa, your gauntlets are all digital now, aren't they? Have it your way. You want to fight? Let's fight! Man. I can't wait to put you back behind bars so we can talk science. Remember our first fight? Me so young and stupid, you just stupid. You talk so much. Well, that's a matter of opinion. I mean, is there any standard metrics for how much talking one should do? And who determines the ideal ratio of talking versus not talking? Also, how would you measure? Words per minute, syllables per second? Or is it more about how many words one uses? Okay, now I can do some real damage. Why are you doing this, Herman? Because if I don't, they'll kill me! Coming your way! <laughs> You come clean, I can help you! You really wanna help me? Don't let me have my money! Sorry, not gonna happen! Stand still! If you ask nicely, maybe! Yeah. 
don't use banks anymore. You're lucky you found actual cash. If you really want to rob banks, try day trading. It's all the rage. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, no. Oh, come on, Herman. You tell me who you're working for. I can help you cut a deal. If I talk, I'm dead. They made that very clear. This one's gonna hurt. You're freaking me out, Herman. It's not likely to be afraid of people. Not even sure these guys are people. Could be anything under those masks. Wait, did you say masks? <laughs> These mask guys, what do they want the money for? Don't know, don't care. Not as that many to dust, but God! Quit now for your own good! Okay, catch this one with your face! On yourself, literally. Man, he was scared and desperate. These demons are everywhere all of a sudden. Okay, Yuri, shocker's all yours now. Good work. We have a special cell waiting for him at the raft. We'll make sure he stays behind bars this time. Also, I'm pretty sure he was working for the Demon Gang. Demon Gang? <sighs> Sounds like a Daily Bugle headline. Hey, the Bugle is a perfectly fine news organization. Not sure I'd call it news. Well, I've heard they have some really good reporters. Anyway, have you had any more reports on Demon, uh, guys with masks? Let me get back to you. By the way, how much of a mess did you make inside that bank? You probably don't want to know. <sighs> Shouldn't have asked. The fight with Shocker took a while. Time to catch up on what I've been missing out in the city. State University, the old alma mater. That's a keeper. Doc left a message. Peter, I might have been a bit hasty advising you to find another job. I have a plan. Give me a bit of time. We may yet live to invent another day. The indomitable Otto Octavius. That's great news. Hope his plan works.
just drop me off at the jail. No reason. Here's your stuff. Nothing puts a pep in my step like halting an illegal drug deal. Hey, so I looked into reports of... demons. I knew you'd come around. They've been pretty busy tonight, hitting a lot of Fisk properties. They're going after Fisk? Damn. You thinking what I'm thinking? Brewing gang war? Let's try to get ahead of it. Are there any Fisk properties that haven't been hit tonight? Let me see. Patrol reported a bunch of activity at one of his shipyards in Portside. Thanks, Yuri. I'll check it out. Hey, Yuri. Any idea what Fisk uses that shipyard for? No idea. Let me send an officer to meet you there. His name's Jefferson Davis. That's his beat. He's a good cop. Been working the this case for years. If anyone knows what's going on at that shipyard, it's him. Attention unit. Armed robbery in progress. Report came in from Little Italy. Assault in progress. Caution advised. Please proceed to Hell's Back. Over. 